Hey folks, my name is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. Catching us on the replay, type in hashtag replay. Let us know you were here. If you're new, let us know that as well. And if you haven't signed up for text alerts yet, make sure you do so. The number's in the description. It's also on our website at scrappiesrustics.com. It's 727-732-3038. If you want to be text after 10 p.m. Eastern to be part of the Night Owls, um, text the word uh, Night Owl <laughs> to that same number. And I put you in a special group like now that gets text um, when I go late after 10 p.m. Eastern, but I need your permission to do so. Also, we have a new feature. If you want to know what's been updated or restocked on the website, you can take, text the word SHOP to that same number. Again, it's in the description. Hey, Sharon and Lorraine, uh, and it's on our website at scrappiesrustics.com. Hey, Cammy, thank you so much for the stars right out of the gate. If you're on the replay too, please feel free to sprinkle me about, which is S-H-A-R-E. Hey, Melissa and Joan, let me refresh my page and get my self up because my last live I had like the most stink bugs I think I've ever had so I want to be ready to rock by if they decide to show up and bless us with their grace. Hey Lisa and Francis welcome. Hey Dana how are you? Thank you guys for being here. Let me uh where am I? Where'd I go? What's happening? Is this even my page? Oh this is the wrong <laughs> this is even my page. Oh my goodness. Thank you for uh sprinkling. Hey Kim and Cindy and I think I missed somebody. Uh, I think I gotta refresh again. Hold on, there's messages popping up. What is going on? Here I am. I gotta refresh again. I refreshed the wrong page. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling, Lisa. Hey, Cheryl. Welcome, welcome. How is everybody? Beverly, it's Sunday night. Back to work tomorrow already. I have a lot to do still, y'all. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Alright, let me. I said I want to be locked and loaded in case we get invaded. Because that last slide was not, that was not good. <laughs> My face is funny on Facebook. That's hilarious. Hello, my sweet friend, Kelly. What the heck? What is going on? All right. I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there. Thank you for sprinkling, Cammie. Hello, Pamela and Paula. All right, now what's happening? Hmm. Now I can't comment on myself. What is going on here? What is happening? What's it? Nothing's ever easy. Hey, Agatha, thank you guys so much for the stars. Hey, Judy. And thank you, Dana. Thank Lorraine, thank you. What in the world is going on? I don't know what's happening in my life. Hey, Shauna and Shelly. Are we at a star party? See, I don't even know that. Because I can't see it. They never invite me to the party. I'm going to pretend we are in one. Star party. Ooh, ooh. Hey, my sweet friend Sherry with Sherry's Creative Designs. Are we in a star party? I'm guessing those hearts mean we are. Hi, Kathy. I just want to pull us up because we got invaded with uh, stink bugs last live. Hi, Nancy. And the only way I can get rid of them is on my laptop. Oh, we are in a star party. Yay! Welcome to the party. Star party. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you had the grandchildren all week. Good for you. I hope you had fun. Cindy, thank you for sprinkling. Debbie, thank you so much for all those stars. Holy smokes. Thank you so much. I appreciate those. They're not expected, but they're very much appreciated. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Julie from Wisconsin. All right. Well, that's as good as I can do over there. I don't know. Let's just hope for no stink bugs because they were bad. One guy told me I was selling farts. Who says that? What is he, like 12? Like, really? We're doing, we're doing something good for charity. He says I'm selling farts. Like, Oh my god, I just, people just blow my mind. Blow my mind. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to say to that. Hey, Janet and Lisa, oh, thank you so much for being here. Um, so we're going to finish our jar finally. What, it's been like two, three weeks? Yeah, we're at a party. 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 Uh, you've been missed again. I finally made it. Yes. Don't be missed. Let me set a timer. Thank you guys so much for the stars. Thank you for spreading the scraps. Yes, if you hadn't, if you haven't, please do so. Spring me about. Hey, Giselle. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. What's, what's see? Uh, let's set a timer. We need to get some more names in them jar, that jar of ours for our monthly drawing. So, uh, hey, Cecil, if I see your comment when the timer goes off, you're going to win to get your name in the jar for our monthly drawing. What's the last couple of them? 50 bucks. Um, hey, Beverly, I'm wearing your shirt. Struggle is real, girl. The struggle is real. You know, I went to, we went to Walmart today. Um, usually my husband does all the shopping, but there's a few things I needed to get. So I was like, well, I'll go. I'll make it a date. <laughs> and 
there was like nothing. I took a video of it. I forgot to post it, but I, I still might. Hey, Anastasia, Susan, hey, Shonda. Um, it was like empty, 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 empty. It, it was like almost scary. Almost like the refrigeration went down, like empty. The bakery was empty. I don't know what the heck was going on there, but it wasn't a good time. All right, I think I have a timer set. Hello, Crafting with Robin's Nest. Virginia, my sweet friend, my number one scrapper. <laughs> all right, so this actually, uh, all right, so this jar, I wish they had more. I need to go back to the Dollar General. I shouldn't even go in line because these are these jars are really nice. I got it at the Dollar General a while back, um, but they only had the one, but it has this like, I don't even know what it says. Be kind, be kind. But I just like the size of it. I love the wood cap. And I love that it screws on. I had spray painted it originally and it rolled in the, um, the dirt and the sand, which I kind of screwed up because you can still see dirt and sand <laughs> stuck to it. So I'm hoping our layer of paint will cover like the inside out. I don't know. So anyways, um, live, um, oh, it's name for you, huh, Shri? So, um, because it had, I could have sanded it, but I figured no, because I was I had some spray paint on it, but I, we took a, a napkin ply in Mod Podge and we covered the whole thing in that, so it gave us lots of texture. And then I stamped um, the IOD crockery stamp in air dry clay, which is this stamp here, one of my all time favorites. The crockery stamp by IOD. All my I, hi Sherry. I mean Ari. You said Sherry. I said. Hi Ari. Um, I love the jar projects too. Like I can't get enough of these. Like this is so my style. Like the ones behind me, I love those. I get all my IOD products from Mara, the Vintage Retail Therapy, VintageRetailTherapy.com. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a paint wash because I feel like the last couple ones we've done a wax. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yesterday's live we did um, the antiquing gel, and then we're gonna do a paint wash because we haven't done that in a while. And isn't it, yeah, from the Dollar General, that's nice. I think we're gonna darken this up though because I think when we do the d dark um, wash on it, I don't think the lid's gonna look right anymore. I thought about doing a different color for once, but I really like that old world look and I feel like we can only get that with a darker color, so I don't know. Uh, grocery store, yeah, they're empty. It's like the grocery stores need to go to the grocery store like my post. I wanna show you my goodies I got um, in the mail. I know I don't need anything. I know I shouldn't have bought these, but it happened, and they're here, so <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy them. So, um, A Maker Studio, I love their products. Um, where did I find the big carrot behind me? So, uh, this one here is just a Dollar Tree wooden carrot, and I put this beautiful ribbon I got off of Amazon on it and just painted it. There is a fast video on it, so that's where that came from. That's the one you're asking about. These carrots here are Connie's carrots. <laughs> Connie's, Connie's creations. She has an Etsy shop. So I got a few things. I got, well, you can't even see this without the background. Um, I don't have a reef, wreath, or a reef, a wreath builder. Um, and I didn't, I don't really like the IOD ones. So I decided on this one. And to be honest with you, I only really like this one here. <laughs> but this is just a, this is a stamp. Um, Thank you so much, Glennis, for the stars. Thank you, thank you. We don't, uh, we don't have, what? We do not have those in, uh, oh, you don't have them out yet in your dollar store? I don't know why I couldn't read that. <laughs> um, so I like this wreath builder. A Maker Studio has a few stamps. Um, one of my very favorite sets besides the crockery is the B stamp that they have. Um, so A Maker Studio has a few stamps. They actually have a few transfers, color and black and white. I don't know if you knew that, but I do have an affiliate link. If you ever do buy them from them, if you could use my link, all my affiliate links can be found at scrappiesrustics.com. I can't pin that right now because I can't, my comments, I don't, I don't have a place for comments, so I don't know. Um, but if you touch my nose tonight, the website should come up and you should be able to message me directly. Because um, I know when sometimes it's hard when people win for the drawing, they can't figure out how to message me. So Facebook did an update, and if I put in there to message me during the live, even it has a rewind. I don't know if that works. Somebody said it did. If you touch my nose, that information should come up. 
So anyways, this is a wreath builder stamp by A Maker Studio. Uh, let me see if I can pin that, Sherry. Thank you. Let me see if it'll work. Yes, thank you, Sherry. Thank you, thank you. The stamps are very nice, Sherry. Yeah, they, I really like A Maker Studio. I know like Magnolia, um, uh, Chocotor, uh, what's the other one? Maybe that's it. I like A Maker Studio because I like their style. I feel like I don't know. I feel like I just like their style. I like their their stuff. So I got some I got some transfers, and these are transfers you do ink on. You can do ink um, and make it permanent, or you can do the chalk on you know just a, a surface, and you can wipe it off. Um, this one is called. I know this is wrong because it's French. Rue du, du Pot. <laughs> it's probably not. You probably don't pronounce the P and the H. It's R U E D U P Hot. Rue de Pure. Rue de Pure. Uh, well, essential stencils, essential stencils are a different type of stencil. Um, these are uh, Chalk Couture. Magnolia and A Maker Studio make the transfer type of stencils. I know it gets confusing. Hey Lisa. Uh, oh, thank you so much, Lisa. So this one I thought was pretty. I thought you could even just use the um, the flowers right here, but I don't know. I, they don't look as nice like on the stencil as they do when you actually do them because everything's opposite. If that makes any sense? Like I need another general sign, but I can't help it. I love these things. That is a lot. One's pretty big. I think it's like I don't know. I'd have to measure it. It's kind of big. But I thought this one was cool too. This is part of their new spring release. I really like that. Cow Blitz Butter. <laughs> um, but this is big. I want to use this, but I don't quite think I have the... I'm going to have to search for a board. I found one today, but it wasn't big enough this way. So the sign itself is... Yeah, it's 18 and a quarter. That's pretty big. By nine, uh, 8 and 3 quarters. So yeah, it's a good size. But I just love that general store stuff. Hey, Patty. I don't know. I'm just attracted to it. I love it. I love it. It's like my fourth general. Here's a nice background or a pillow. Um, this one is called, what, First Flowers. So you could just use a little section. You could use the whole thing. You could use, like, um, I was thinking about maybe doing a green stripe, but just make, like, one of these a stripe. I don't know. I think it's pretty. But First Flowers is that one. They have a whole lot more. They had a pretty big spring release. Um, you won that general transfer. Oh, you did? Oh, good for you. Hey, Nana Cat, how are you? Hi, Patricia. Thank you guys so much for being here. If anybody's new, let us know so we can give you a proper welcome. I'd love for you to become a new friend and hang out with us, and I would love that. And this one I thought was pretty, too. Butterflies are free. It's a nice background, or you could just use an individual um, butterfly. So I think that'd be pretty. Or on a pillow itself. Um... You know what I want to, I mean, I tried this on the side, but I want to try it on a real project. I took one of these type of transfers, the lace one, actually, um, and then the old school, I call them old school stencils. They're not old school stencils. They're the stencils you use, like, with a brush. Um, I did the pig. I'm trying to think where it is. Uh, oh, it's right here. So this is what I want to do. Now don't, I, I tried something on his, on his face and it didn't work, so ignore that. But what I did was I took the old school stencil and how did I do that? I, I put one of these transfers down, put one of these transfers down, and then I put the old school, the hard plastic transfer over it, and then I chalked it. And it came out pretty stinking good. Um, so that was the lace transfer um, from A Maker Studio. But the only thing that, the, oh, I mean, his tail is a little wonky. So if we are to do this, we have to do it on a, a, a hard stencil that has a lot of open space because it has a lot of details. It's definitely not going to come out. But I thought that was kind of neat. But I haven't really tried it for real. This is just like a test board. Because, you know, I like, to, I like to test stuff. All right, this one's called Chicken Wire. Oh, look at that one. That's good, right? That's good. Because I feel like if we're going to, um, boy, it was new and following. Mary, you're already following. Thank you so much. I promise to show up with a good attitude and a smile. But 
but anything after that I can't promise you. I can't promise you. So this, I, I, I picture like um, the farm animals, but I want to try to figure out a way, well, I was trying to see like how you mask with stamps so you don't see the wires in the back, but I guess if we did this in a lighter color, like a grayish, we could do dark farm animals or something. Hmm. I feel like you can use this on a lot of different things. I almost feel like you could get away with this being honeycombs. I mean, it does have a little bit of the twisted wire in there, but I mean, if you got rid of that part, you could you could pass it for honeycombs. And lastly, this is my favorite, but it looks so much better the opposite way when it's inked. I want to use them all right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, this one's called Bon Bon Bunny. I thought I was done with bunnies and Easter's, but I guess I'm not in Easter's. But this has a lot in it. Like, I feel like there's a lot going on in here. Got three little ones over here. A little script, a little script, a little sign of some sort. But he looks really good done. I saw him on a towel. So, those are all A Maker Studio. I do have an affiliate link. All my affiliates can be found at scrappiesrustics.com in the menu area. Yeah, I think you, we could get away with using it as a honeycomb as well. I do, I do. This one's kind of big. Let's move this one. The problem is, is storing these bigger ones is a real pain in the butt. So these are for chalk, yes, ch no, ch yeah, chalk paste or ink. Permanent inks. Like, the, you can't use regular paints with these because they're transfers. They're mesh, tra mesh transfers. All the white parts that you see are a mesh, and you push the, the your product through those. So it has to be a thick paste or the ink, where the inks are permanent and the chalks are not. But I did hear, and I don't know for certain, because I've never tried it myself, but actually I have something in the works that I'm going to try. Um, a beehive, yes, yes. Um, people have said that they've used the chalk paste, the thicker stuff, and heat set it heat setting is the whole key that it worked just like the inks did so I don't know I know I've made a couple of shirts myself with the inks and heat set them and they're fine I make my husband a lot of shirts and his and he's tough on his clothes and I wash them a lot and um, his are fine so I don't know I haven't tried it though with just the the, the, um, the paste only the inks so we'll see we'll see but you can also use the inks as in place of the paste. Um, hey, Kara, they just take longer to dry. That's the difference in that. All right, so if you guys are just hopping on, we're gonna finish up this jar. This is a jar that I got from the Dollar General um, a while back. I wish they had more, but they didn't. Just had a little Be Kind sticker on it. I spray painted it, it rolled in the dirt, so I decided to, um, we Mod Podge one, one napkin ply on it to give it all this nice texture, and then I this is air dry clay, and this is the IOD crockery stamp that I stamped and glued on there. And we're gonna probably gonna stain this. I don't know. We're gonna wait till we get this done. I think it's gonna be too light, but we'll see when it gets done. So first thing we're gonna do is paint it white with some chalk paint, and um, then we're gonna uh, oh boy. then we're gonna do a paint wash. Um, and if you're just hopping on too, I've got a um, timer set. So if I see your comment when the timer goes off you're going to win to get your name in the jar for our monthly drawing which is going to be a $50 Amazon card um, or um, if you live in the US you can have your choice of an Amazon card or $50 hey Jody um, or $50 credit to scrappiesrustics.com um, I used Moose Moose last night uh, antiquing gel um, one of the this one is done in uh, black wax and then this one is done in the antiquing gel the moose moose and we used the moose moose last night so I figured um, we haven't done a paint wash in a while and we have done wax and we have done the antiquing gel so I think a paint wash is in order <laughs> thank you Patty we had these uh, for sale um, you got my eye on me Verla uh, uh, yeah you caught me live you sure did Aw, thank you, Robin. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, it is. It's pretty neat. Um, but oh my, 
Did you see the paint? I just I splattered all over. What is happening? Why is this? There's paint everywhere. What the heck? I don't know what. Maybe because I gave the brush a haircut. A haircut? Oh my god, I snorted. Yeah, that that's not normal. I might have to switch brushes. Uh, did you Mod Podge the napkin on? Yes. What, it's a one ply of a napkin. All Mod Podge on there. Holy smokes. Yeah, it's it's splattering all over the place. I'm going to go in downward motion, not towards me. So we're going to give it a paint, a coat of white. And um, this, te this technique is great because painting yeah nothing is ever easy oh so anyways we had these shirts for a while but where i was getting it just didn't work out it just didn't work out so we're looking for a new person so we'll see we'll see uh i can't wait to see the paint wash it's 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 easy it's fun it's um i will suggest though if you're going to use the paint wash technique i would suggest that you wait till your clay is dry um, there is a video I did. I actually did it for Roku, but it's on my Facebook as well now. Um, where I drown my chicken. So your clay is water-based, um, and then you're trying to put, you know, uh, water-based paint on top of it that's watered down, um, and your clay isn't totally dry. If if all the stars don't align, it kind of turns into a mushy mess, and that's what happened. Um, I knew what you meant, Verla. Um Yes, yes. Thank you, April. Um, yeah, so wait, just wait overnight till your clay, your clay is good and dry for your best results. I know sometimes it's hard to wait. We can't wait. We want to do it now, but it's in your best interest to wait till your clay is dry. Try not to fling this all over my face, so. though. I'm not quite sure I can do anything about this rim here. I got a little spray paint overspray on it. But the way the lid sits, I'm, not, I'm gonna have to give that a better look. I don't think I can paint that without it getting all scraped up. So it might not look the prettiest when the cap is off. But I need to look at that a little closer and see if I can make that a little prettier. Um, who, who, who'd you put your order in with, uh, Nana Cat? Who'd you put your order in with? It depends on your environment. If you live in a, like, a humid environment, it's gonna take longer for your stuff to dry. If you live in a dry climate, then it's probably gonna dry quicker. Um, it just all kind of depends. It all depends. The colder it is, the longer it takes. Definitely the humidity plays a factor. There's no doubt about that. Just wrap some I don't think I can do that because of the way the lid sits. I don't think I can wrap twine. And I think if I paint it, it might end up coming off. I'm going to try it on here in a minute. I should have done that before I started painting, but... Oh, your brother has wood leftovers. Nice, nice, nice. My friend did the tissue thing on the wall in their bathroom. Oh, how cool. That's a great idea, Jody. Because painting glass, it stinks, man. It's like, it's a process. Like, if you, you know, if you just feel like painting, you got nothing better to do, then okay. But when you really want to get it done, I mean, it takes a lot of coats to cover glass. I mean, it depends on what color you're using, but for the most part, it takes a lot. If you just do this Mod Podge on there with a napkin ply, bam, you're done. You are done. Now, just be mindful when you do stuff like this, you're still gonna be able to see the inside of your jar. So I like to try to do a coat of spray paint, but that up doesn't always pan out, but that's your best option and then that way you got a nice coat on your or a starting coat base coat a starting coat on your piece never painted these Waverly. Uh, you never painted with Waverly and acrylics uh, Facebook's weird every night April you never painted with Waverly and acrylics or you've only I, I missed that I totally missed Oh, I bet you did. Uh, you need a craft room? 
Aw, thank you, Mary. Thank you. Yeah, you need a craft room, girl. Get rid of the stove and all that. You don't need the refrigerator or stove. Just move right into the kitchen. Turn the sound down. It'd be hard to hear me like that, Cammie. Oh, man, this is really thick on the bottom here. All right, let's give this a dry. Looking all crazy. Looking all crazy. Hello, Darlene. How are you? Facebook's always wonky. Wonky donkey. I got paint everywhere. Looks like the speckled eggs. Looks like the speckled eggs. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, I don't know if any of you saw yesterday's live for the, um, uh, the colon, the colon event, but, um, uh, I had so many stink bugs on there, I can't believe it. And then, uh, I can't tell you how many liked my video. Like, there had to be 10 to 15 of them. It was crazy. Crazy, crazy. Like I said, I think, uh, uh, a graduation of hey Deborah, a graduation of stink bugs must have just happened because they're out thick. They've been in the comments too, so you guys know you're smart enough. Somebody's saying hey, I tried to give you a friend request and it didn't work. Make sure you friend me. Make you guys know that. Just no, just no. Don't reply to them. Don't do any of that. I have a huge craft room. Just need time for crafting, right? Patty, time is like the enemy. <sighs> I have so many projects I want to do. I'm almost, Shonda, I am in the same boat, girl. I am in the same boat. I need like nine days in a week and like 40 hours in a day. That'd be great. Uh, you've been getting those creeps and their messages? Yes, it's been, it's been crazy lately. Maybe they're hatching out since springtime. Well, the last, um, the last bad batch we had was like January. So is it like a quarterly thing? I don't know, but they are, they're hot and heavy now. And like I said, the guy, the guy on the uh, live yesterday said, because we were doing an auction and it was all about colon cancer, he actually said uh, in this comment was selling farts. Like, what are you, 12? Like, what? Who even, who even says something stupid like that? Um, yes, Lynn, there is. There is a live. Um, I can't tell you when we did it. It was a while ago. We're trying to get to it. I want to say like two weeks ago. I don't know. Craft on your kitchen table. You have the time and no room. Oh, jeez. I guess get rid of the refrigerator. <laughs> hey, Manny, how are you, my sweet friend? Hola. Stink bugs are everywhere. Yeah, they are, like, wicked. It's weird. They come in spurts. They come in spurts. So when you do do the paint wash, when you do do, um, it, the paint needs to be dry, that's for sure. I know when you block them. Yeah, they come on as somebody else. Yep, yep. I know what it's really. And then I had one auction. Uh, actually, no, it was two auctions ago. Um, oh, th that's the big one that's everybody's getting right now. It'll say that you violated. Um, just, just ban them and or report them, and then there's a way to remove yourself it's a tag because they actually have a Facebook group and the last I looked there was like 521 people like that page like what I mean my goodness um we need bug spray that <laughs> right oh man yeah there's somebody out there that's got some magic medicine that's gonna make you better and oh my goodness your allergies are so, oh oh the sugar canes burnt that's not good oh thank you Bonita yeah, always be. Yeah, I agree, Shonda. That's fine. To, I don't know. Right, why don't they get put in face? Right, I don't know. It's a very good question. I don't know. But just, you know, just be smart when somebody hits you up in the comments. Just be, just be smart about it. If it smells fishy, then it probably is. I try my best, you know, when, or anytime I see it in the comments, anybody replying to you guys, I immediately ban them and delete their comments. But you can't always get them right away. I just want to see where this lines up. Cause see this here? I don't think I can really do anything. Well, I might be able to paint it. I think I can paint it. I'm going to paint it, but that's probably going to take a lot of paint. Let me just put a coat on there. If it's going to be a lot, then I'll just do that off camera. see what we're working with here. See what we're working with. 
We don't want it to look nappy. We want it to look happy. <laughs> happy, not nappy. I could get it kind of neat. Somewhat neat. Probably going to take a couple coats, but at least we can get one on there. I'll be on tomorrow at 4.45 p.m. Eastern for Craft Around the Clock if you're around. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to figure it out. i got to fill some orders after I get done here. After I get done here. Yeah. I'd rather just craft all night, but... Um, yes, yes. I have even heard, um, uh, and I've done it, if you spray it with um, like a, uh, a sealer, like a, a clear sealer, if you paint your glass, spray your glass with a clear sealer, it will also help your paint to, it, less coats basically, less coats. Sometimes I just feel like painting, like with no, no end plan, and I just want to paint, so I'll grab a glass of some sort and just paint it. And then hope I want to use that glass, that color that day, someday. Doesn't always work out that way, but sometimes I just feel like painting mindless stuff, you know. Did you say that? No, the jar came from um, Dollar General. They only had the one. I love the size. I love the lid. I love everything about it. I want to say it was three dollars, um, but they only had the one. Here we go. Teresa Hobson, congratulations. You win to get your name in the jar. Do me a favor, Teresa, and touch my nose and see if there's an option where you can you can message me right from this video. I'd like to know if it actually works. It's something new Facebook put out. Um, so I'd like to know if that works. So you won to get your name in the jar for a monthly drawing, which the last four have been a $50 um, Amazon card. Um, if you live in the U.S., you have your choice of Amazon card or $50 credit for scrappingsrustics.com. We said another one. I'm just curious if that option works. Something new. Whoever um, comes with this. They're trying to make me think. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everybody's getting bombarded with that same message, which is it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. If if you're ever in doubt. Um, no, there's not. So if you touch my nose, the description comes up and it doesn't say something like you can message message me directly. That's a bummer. I should know. Facebook's full of fibs. <laughs> hey, Sandra. Hey, Tracy. Welcome, welcome. Let me just dry this a little. <sighs> Tried molds last night. Flowers and a carrot. Yes. It does take t time to dry. Yes. Yep. Especially it depends on how thick your mold is, how big your mold is, your best. I see you, Vivian. I see you. Um, depends on your environment. But if you want the best results, your best to just leave it overnight and um, let it dry. I know sometimes we don't want to wait, but that's when you're going to get your best results. You can do all the things when it's still pliable, but you just have to be very careful. Uh, no message. It has your Facebook page. You can go. Oh, that's weird, Teresa. Well, thank you for looking. Thanks for slinging the rest, Sandra. I set another timer, by the way. Alright, we'll put more coat on this top part and then the bottom, and we'll be ready to go. We'll be ready to go. Let me do the bottom first. Let me fling some more paint around. I didn't have some eggs here because they'd be perfectly spackle or speckled. Perfectly speckled eggs. Um, so I don't really go out shopping much anymore, like out, out, but, um, it's kind of a, well, I don't know if that's entirely, I don't go out as much as I used to, but anyways, um, I always buy my husband sneakers, he goes through them like crazy, and I'll, I like to try to go, you know, get the BOGO, for the, you know, the foot, not the foot locker, but famous footwear or whatever the heck the name of the other one is, um, and I like, you know, I'll get him two pairs because he just goes through them so fast and it's buy one, get one, why not? And um, we went today, I, I want to say the last pair I got him was like three months ago, four months ago. Um, and uh, so I guess apparently Nike pulled all the 
all the bobos. So Nike will no longer be, be um, this is just white chalk paint, if that's what you mean. Um, so Nike will no longer be doing the sales, the bobo sales for any of the stores in Florida anyways. I don't, I would imagine it's like everywhere, but I don't know that for certain. I guess they, Crocs and something else they're doing too that Nike owns. So that stinks. Those things are expensive these days. Wow. Um, so yep, just this is just white chalk paint. I'm just gonna put this last layer on and then we're gonna do our paint wash. And we'll be good to go. I think we're gonna have to end up staining that that lid. So Mara and I were supposed to do a double live this evening. However, um, we're going to reschedule because her, her baby, uh, she had a big scare and uh, she's doing much better, but she's home now. So um, we're going to reschedule it. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Um, we're going to crack. We're going to do crack, a double crack. <laughs> Gonna, oh, why do I keep putting this down in sweat? So, whenever I do any type of, um, uh, my husband is the exact same way, goes, yes, yes, I hear you, Jody. Uh, I let it out with paint, I left it out with paint, we'll paint it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, four inches thick. Ah, Giselle, I know. She is doing better, so that was good to hear. Well, my heart was breaking for her. Hey, Rosemary. Um, so whenever I do any type of things like this, um, I like my piece to have texture of some sort. You can get texture by using, like, those natural brush bristle brushes. Um, like, keep, you want to keep your brush strokes in there. Or um, if you have salt wash, you can use salt wash. Or you could use the baking soda. Um, you could use spackle, you could use um, this Mod Podge and uh, tissue ply, anything like that because you want, when you do the washes, you want your uh, darker colors to settle into all your grooves so you wipe off the top. So you, that's how you get that look. The more texture you have on your piece, the better it's going to look. I hope that makes sense. Because if, you're, if your piece is completely smooth, there's nothing for your wash or your wax or your antiquing glaze to grab onto so you're just going to put it on and wipe it off so I hope that makes sense enjoy yesterday that was a nice event yesterday wasn't it bonita our dollar tree is a dollar 25 three and five for cheese I love athletic shoes that shoe addiction is close as i can be personalized that's funny we even went into marshall's and i think marshall's is doing away um they used to have a, a decent men's selection in shoes and every once in a while I could find the, the kind he likes because he wears a wide too which makes it another step different or difficult but um it's like I think they're doing away with it but I'm so proud of myself I think it's the first time I've ever been in Marshalls maybe the second where I just we went to the shoes and then left I was sweating a little I was like, oh, trying to look around <laughs> don't look Trace keep your blinders on oh uh, thank you Cindy this is uh, one of our custom made shirts. We don't have them in stock anymore. Okay, so I just put a little paint on the edges there. It's not perfect, but that's okay. All right, anybody's counting? Two baggies so far. I'm about to use a third and there will be a fourth. Just letting you know. Three, three baggies. Okay, so now we're gonna use, um, <coughs> another thing is you wanna use, if you're doing a paint wash, you wanna use a um, highly pigmented paint. Almost all the chalk paints are the DIY paints are definitely you can um, water these down up to 10 times and it won't lose its color at all I wouldn't recommend doing this with an acrylic paint because I think you're gonna lose a lot of your color um, you'll have marshals I know me too me too you have to go to your Facebook page to message you okay yeah cuz they did the update and there's a thing I can turn on before I hit my live there's a thing I can hit that you can rewind the live video, but I guess somebody said it's only for a few seconds. The other thing is you can hit scrappiesrustics.com, not from what's pinned or in the description, but 
wherever I put it and message me. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where should I sell the start of your project? So Diana, I did this a couple weeks ago. Um, as a matter of fact, I have a fast video out there. Um, all, seriously, I'm not even exaggerating. All I did with this is I had spray painted it previously. It rolled in the dirt and it got all kinds of crap on it. So I literally just took a napkin ply, you know, the kind that we usually pull off and throw away. Don't throw those away. And I just put a little Mod Podge on my, my jar, put the napkin ply on there, covered it with Mod Podge and did that all the way around. That is that it was that simple. This I did not do live the stamp. However, there is videos out there doing uh, clay stamping. That's a IOD crockery mold in air dry clay. So really that's the gist of it. So it got, no, oh, that's something inside. Okay, so it's not so bad inside now like it was from the, <laughs> from the rolling in the dirt. Uh, like to go to thrift stores, yes. Okay, so DIY paint is a clay-based paint. Um, it's very, very pigmented, highly pigmented. Um, so you don't need a lot. What am I looking for? Need a spoon. This will work. It's probably going to be too. Oh, let me scrape this off. We don't really need a lot, lot. So if, I, like I said, I would not recommend the paint technique, the paint wash technique with your clay if your clay or if your clay is wet, because your clay will kind of get mushy if you don't get it like right the very first time. Hey Beth, how are you? Love seeing my past videos. I'm falling behind on those. I just I don't know. I need more time in the day. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint. I might need more than that, I don't know. But I'm gonna start with that. And you should always use distilled water whenever you're crafting or putting it in your products or whatever you're doing. Um, I just have a little mist bottle. You could just use a little dropper or whatever. Can you water down milk paint? Uh, you're, no. Not that I, no, I do not, I think if you, I think if you water, I, if milk paint isn't, I'm just going to add a little water to this and stir it and see, get it to how I want it. it. The thing with milk paint is if you water it down too much or your mixture's not right, it's not going to, um, it's not going to apply right at all. Milk paint's very finicky. You have lips, can't, I missed something about plastic. Alright, so that's not quite, I'm going to need more than this. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. We have lots of calendars to work with. Uh, distilled water, you won't, you have no chance of getting any mold or anything like that. Like if you, um, if you use your chalk pastes and you need, you know, your chalk paste get a little funky or your DIY clay base gets funky, you need to add water to it, um, to get it back and the consistency you need it. Um, if, if it's not distilled, it will, it can grow mold. And you don't want that. Um, yeah, form. I think the the form flex is is good. Um, I don't. For me personally, um, I, you kind of have to plan to use that. If that makes sense. With the plastic bag, it's better on the clay because uh, what is it? The clay to use in the mold. I would hands down recommend the number one clay that I've ever tried was is the IOD air dry clay. Um, this is not what I want here. It's just very easy to work with. Out of all the clays I've used, um, thank you, Pam. Out of all the clays I've used, um, it cracks and shrinks the least amount I mean it's all gonna crack and it's all gonna shrink but I think it does it the least this is just sucking up everything in my paintbrush here 
get some of that on. There we go. Okay. I think that's good enough. I'm going to go one more squirt. So I want it. I'm going to show you the consistency, but my paintbrush keeps sucking it up. See that? It's just like watered down paint. And that's what we're going to use. And we're going to need baby wipes. Uh, wet wipes take off more than a dry wipe would. So think of it that way. We start on the bottom. We don't have a lot of texture on the bottom, but we don't want we don't want it stark white. So I always like to start on the bottom. That way, if you forgot something or it's not going on right, you know, you can kind of back out or fix things at the time. I'm just dabbing it on there. If the wetness takes too much off, try dry. Um, make sure it's still watery on consistency. You, uh, thin down. You, you can thin down chalk paint. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. going to wipe it off and all the dark is going to sit in all the lower spots if you wipe off too much just hit it again if you get streaks in it give it a dabbing motion so now at the bottom like I said if you don't have um, any type of texture to use you want to use brush strokes here's a good example of the brush strokes I don't know if you can see it right there you can see the brush strokes because there's nothing on the bottom but just my brush strokes um, I would use distilled water. Yeah, I would use, if you're creating, crafting with any of your stuff, I would use distilled water. Never use distilled water in chalk paint. Yeah, I, well, I mean, everybody's water supply is different too. I mean, like, my girlfriend in Connecticut, they have a, they have a well, and they have, like, um, the best water quality, probably better than you can buy water. Um, Florida, you don't want to drink water, so, um, that I haven't been able to watch. Aw, hey Dolores. Loving this look. Yes, I mean, it's so easy too. All right, so now, see all our nooks and crannies? This is why it's important that you need a texture because you're just not gonna get that look any other way um, because there's nowhere for your dark and your contrasting color to sit and be separated. it in all the nooks. And I'm just going to wipe it away. Pretty freaking cool, huh? Pretty cool. Beep. Now it really pops. Now if it's too dark, keep wiping. If it's too light, give it a minute, let it dry, and go right back over it. So it went from, we're going from that to that kind of looks like stone um, look the glaze is good too so oh the color I never told you the color of this this is um, weathered wood this is a dark gray DIY weathered wood um, I just think it gives a nice old world um, what's your first, uh, what's the, uh, my first I missed something I missed it you have really good well water but I used to still water for certain things okay yeah hey Brenda um, yeah, I, it just depends, I think, on your, on your water source or whatever. I don't know, but I've never had any problems, but I've always used distilled. Um, mold is not my friend. I had a, that's a whole other story I'll tell you about. Mold almost killed me. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, almost killed me. So I'm going to do the tissue part first, and then we'll do the rest of the mold. Uh, you see it, Sandra? <laughs> Let me get another wipey out. So this is just really, I mean, seriously, if you have an old, you have a, a, a spaghetti jar, I'm sure you've got a napkin ply sitting around somewhere. Um, you don't have to put a mold on there. That was just an extra additive. But seriously, you can make the cheapest project with just uh, some Mod Podge, a tissue ply, or a napkin ply, and a jar. That's all it takes. Put a uh, put a bow on it and <laughs> call it a project. 
Um, you could also do this like on a candle. I mean, I wouldn't recommend burning the candle, but for decorative purposes, um, you could totally do the same exact thing on pretty much anything, anything. Furniture, I mean, any anything. It's just an easy, cheap, dirty down way to get texture. At the point, you want to use like a, you don't have to use a natural brush, but you don't want to use like a, I mean, use what you have, but it'd be a little harder to get down in the nicks and, nicks and cranny with a flat brush. So if you have any type of, you know, brush that has some substance, um, try to use that. Because you want to get down, get down. You want to get down in all the, the low points. And what we're wiping away is the high points. Like I said, if you start to get where you can see you've been wiping it, you can actually see white marks, then just give it a, do one of these and that'll kind of blend all that in for you. Yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole nother story. Literally, I, yeah, I, I really thought I was dying and I probably would have had I not found out. That's a whole nother story of my life. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, it's, mold is no joke. I'll tell you that much. I have no idea. And I will hit this white rim part last. Why last? I don't know. Just, I don't know why. <laughs> Just because. That's the clay. All right. Now, uh, like I said, you could use salt wash to make your texture. Oh. Diane Mayo, congratulations. You win to get your name in the jar for our monthly drawing. So message me that you won to get your name in the jar. And I'll message you back the details because you gotta be live to um, to win. Make sure you're following me too because you're not following me. Hi, Anita. I can't give you the prize. So that's important. And I know sometimes Facebook will drop you off like a hot potato. That's not cool, but that's what they do. I'm gonna set one more, you guys. Um, Basically, I'll just message you back the date and the time, that's all. For some reason, if your name does get drawn and you're not there, then the least we can do is put your name back in the jar two times for the following month. Okay. What the heck am I doing? Uh, yes, congratulations. All right, where was I? Got sidetracked. Okay, so look at that so far. Look how white it was. Isn't that neat? And you can see how easy it is and then our bottom. So, this is pretty, like, I put it on pretty thick and this brush is pretty naturally bristly. So, if you didn't have any, if you didn't do any texture, like if you didn't have the baking soda or you didn't want to do the Mod Podge with the napkin plier, you didn't have salt wash or whatever, um, is Lisa with Brown Eyed Crafting Girls, craft, oh my god, Brown Eyed Girls Crafting on, hi Lisa, um, make sure you just put some real strong brush strokes in there and it will sit in there like that, won't look like that, but you'll get a little bit of it, so either way, either way, all right, so let's get this, oh my paint's drying up on me, <laughs> quit talking and get to, oh man, we're really drying up here, hold on, let me squirt, let me squirt some, get some paint. That's not good. I'm yapping. My paint's drying up. Hopefully I got enough on my brush to get through this. Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah. My brush is loaded down. Uh, do you have to seal it? I, I don't. You could put a clear wax over it. You could put a spray over it. Um, I don't, but I don't wash them either. I mean, I'll just wipe them off with a damp rag. Um, but you could seal it. Do you have to? I don't know. I never have. I never have. Um, now, if you use the wax technique, then that you're sealing it as you're doing it. And actually the antiquing gel as well. So this would be the only one where you're not. So you just want to make sure you get everything down in there. You know what I mean? Like push your dark down in there because you don't want any white showing through. Um, so yeah, so the antiquing glaze and waxing it, you're sealing it. That That is a sealer. Can you do crackle technique? Um, yeah, yeah, you could do the crackle. Um, 
I don't know that you'd be able to wipe it off good though. Um, how cool that's looking. Now it really pops, right? Um, I don't know because when you do the crackle, the paint's crackling, it's sticking up. Hey, Lisa. Um, Tuesday morning powder. No, I don't know anything about that, Kelly. Hi, Char, my beautiful Char with Char's art from the heart. Um, I don't know anything about that. Um, yeah, I don't know with the crackle because your paint's already crackled. It's already chipping. I don't know by that rubbing motion what would... I don't know. I'd have to say you'd have to try it and let us know how it goes. That I don't know. Love that. Love it, love it. Now, if you wanted more white, let's see what it looks like with some more white coming through. Well, that might be better. Hold on. Hold the bus. See how it's lightening up now? I kind of like that better. It's a little too dark before. Um, yes, I love milk paint, and I just recently became affiliated with Sweet Pickens. We are going to do some of that. I was actually going to do that tonight, but I was like, i got to finish this stinking thing. Um, I just want to see how everybody else likes it before becoming a distributor for them. Um, but I did a lot of research and whatnot behind the scenes on different milk paints, and um, they were my winner. They were my winner. <laughs> I just, I like everything about it. Plus, they're in the U.S. and they're family. Um, thank you, Vivian. Yeah, I like it better lighter. Makes it pop more. Okay, so there's what we got. I'm just going to touch up around here before my paint totally dries up on me. There's obviously a lot of paint in this brush. Luckily, I'm going to have to stir some more. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. All right, we can get enough out of here. We'll make it work. We'll force it to work. Oh, I forgot about the... I think the lid's going to be too light. So I'm thinking a little dark and decrepit on the the lid and we're golden. I'm just going to, I'm going to hit this with a, I don't want to wipe too, let me see what the dry does. Let's see what that does. Yeah, I got to hit it with a wet. I can find a clean spot. Uh, I love the color. I, you know what? I always say, oh, I'm going to try like a navy blue or a blue, and then I don't because I, I love this stone aged look. I don't know. I need to get out of my comfort zone, though, and just do it one day. I had it out for tonight. Oh, now I wiped too much off there. See, I feel like I wiped too much off right there, so I'm going to just hit it again. Actually, I'm going to hit the whole thing again real lightly. Let it dry. Let it dry. So easy peasy. Is that dark stuff you're using paint? Cindy, are you just getting here? <laughs> Cindy. Cindy. Yes, we are doing a paint wash. It's DIY weathered wood. I would suggest if you're gonna do a paint wash, I would use um I wouldn't use acrylic. I mean you can, I'm not saying you can't, but I don't feel like acrylic paints are as highly pigmented as chalk paints, clay-based paints, mineral paints are, um, because when you water down things, they lose their color, where the highly pigmented stuff does not. Right, so we're just gonna leave that one like that. That's our jar. Super pretty. Um, and, and you saw that wasn't a lot of paint that I had on here. Let me, wash that. Let me wrap this up. Um, so it didn't take a lot. And, yeah, see, that does not look right. I think it needs to be darker. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Mary. So let's use some uh, dark. This is DIY dark and decrepit. It's just like DIY patina or um, um, Mod Podge, <laughs> but this one's dark. So this is a sealer and a stain all in one. And. My FIFO bottles get kind of wonky sometimes. Um, why are you putting your brushes on the side? 
Well, let me tell you why. Hold on, I'm afraid this is gonna come. Oh, see, it's gonna, ah, oh, look at that. That is nasty. That's the one thing I don't like about Mod Podge DIY Patina. That's so gross. Um, ooh, hey, Anita. Um, any salt on fusion? Yeah, fusion mineral paint's nice. Yeah, mineral paints are nice. Clay-based paints are nice. I put my stuff in plastic bags um, so they don't, my brushes don't dry out on me. That way when I'm done done for whatever I'm done crafting, I just take them all to the sink and wash them. I don't ever put them in water. I don't know why. I just don't. I just don't. Oh boy. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. All right, I'm just going to hit this with, I don't sell this. Someday I'd like to become a, well, I can't become a DIY because I don't have a physical place. Like if I had a booth or something like that, I could. Um, yeah, I use baggies for everything. But it saves your brushes. Like, so I could use this all night long until I'm ready to go. If you put it in water, then you got to start all over again, right? I don't like doing that. Um, did you close your dark and decrepit bottle? Yeah. What do you What do you mean? Did I close it? Yes. I don't get it. Did you close your dark and decrepit? I don't get it. I don't get it. Who? Huh? What did I miss? All right. I don't know how poor this feels. Pretty porous. Uh, Ooh, Cindy. Congratulations. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, you win to get your name in the jar for our monthly drawing. So message me that you won and I'll message you back the details. Which our drawing's gonna be, I didn't even say, it's always the first Wednesday of the month, so it'll be um ew, there's another one in here. So it'll be April 6th. Wednesday, April 6th. Ah y'all. Ugh. Oh, no, don't fall. Ah! Gross. Just gross. They're like boogies. Like giant boogies. <laughs> uh, why do you put the paint in the spur uh, Well, um, because the ones that I use a lot, I put in the FIPO bottles because they're just easier access. They have certain tips that are made for paint. They're actually used for the restaurants, but then creators started using them. So, you know, because you open your paints all the time and you get all that crust and, hey, Lisa, um, how do you message me? <laughs> you have to go to my page uh, and there should be a button there that says message. Look at that pretty color. That's gonna be much better. What do y'all think? Yeah, that's much better than that. Like night and day, right? Yeah. Like it, like it a lot. Yes, yeah, Cindy, go to my page and uh, message me. Um, if you guys haven't signed up for text alerts yet, you can do that. The number's in the description. It's also at scrappiesrustics.com. It's in the menu area. Um, if you want to be text after 10 p.m. Eastern, you can like, look. Ugh, you're right, Clay, okay. Um, uh, if you want to be text after 10 p.m. Eastern, you can text the word Night Owl. If you want to be text to know what's been updated on the website or restocked, you can text the word SHOP. But all that needs to go to 727-732-3038. Not in the messages here or in the comments. You just you have to text that number, those words. Otherwise, it won't work because it's completely different from Facebook. Um, so, yeah, and if you forget the number, it can be, it's in the menu area at scrappiesrustics.com or it's on my Facebook page as well. I love the color of this dark and decrepit. I just, I don't know, I really like it. Um, thank you, Sherry. That's gross. I mean, it, she's right, but it, yeah, it's, it's gross. I'll agree, Sherry. I agree, Sherry. I love this stuff. This is a sealer as well. So this is basically like a Mod Podge. Um, it's exactly what it is, but it's just 
a dark Mark Mod Podge. It's called DIY Dark and Decrepit. Um, they have a DIY Patina, which is a clear. Um, but I love it. So it's a stain and a sealer all in one. I think I want that a little bit darker. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. Uh, DIY products are all natural as well. So if you have any type of autoimmune issues or any one of that, it's good stuff. Minus the boogies, but that Mod Podge does boogies too. I love the dark and the curtain. I know it. I just, I like, you know, certain wood tones I don't care for. Like, um, the, the Moose Moose. I know a lot of people use it for the stain color. I just, I don't really care for, care for it for a stain color. Um, but a lot of people use it for a stain. So that's it there. Oh, I gotta get another bag. <laughs> Oh, and it looked like your dad's dialysis. I love the other one. I know. O57, yes, Sheila. Yeah, so they don't allow you to just be an online retailer. You have to have actually have like a physical store. So that's unfortunate. Is it Lar Lorraine? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Anita. Appreciate you being here. If you're new, I'd love for you to, I guess that's just the wood tone. Um, was it like that before? I'd love for you to follow and be, yeah, it's just the wood tone. Huh. Um, I'd love for you to follow and become a new friend. Promise you a smile and, oh, I need to do that, don't I? In a good attitude. Other than that, I can't promise you much. I'll be on again tomorrow at 4.45. Well, is it today yet? No, it's not midnight yet. Hey, Shelly. Um, I'll be on tomorrow at 4.45 p.m. Eastern for Craft Around the Clock. Um, and then definitely again on Wednesday at 4.45 p.m. for What's Up Wednesday. I don't know what we're going to have to show. You know, oh, after um, last week's Wednesdays, What's Up Wednesdays, um, the, uh, the JRP papers came. Right when I clicked that off, I heard the UPS guy out there. Do you have the molds for labels in your shop? I don't see it. No, this is um this is not a mold. This is a um a stamp. So I buy all my IOD and all my DIY uh Cherokee. There's people that count how many values I use. If you'd like to join that group, I think there's a group they formed. <laughs> um yeah, so that's five values I've used tonight. Five. Um, IOD products and DIY products are, I use VintageRetailTherapy.com. That is Mara. There are plenty of ones out there. You can even just like Google it. You might have somewhere in beside you where you can go buy them yourself. You can like walk in and buy them. But this, this here is from the crockery stamp, IOD crockery stamp. That's this, this guy here. So that's a stamp. So I rolled that clay out and stamped it in there and then glued it to my jar. Um, yeah, I know the JRV was so close. The vintage, the Easter vintage cards. Oh, it's so good. You have to check it out. What? I got white paint or something. On here. I set it down and see that paint flakes out. Uh, we love counting baggies. <laughs> One, one baggie. The Count from Sesame Street. Remember him? That's what I feel like that person is doing at home. Oh, when they count my baggies. She used one. One baggie for her white chalk paint. One. Ah. Oh, Judy's the big auction winner. Thank you, Judy. So that's dry already. That stuff dries quick. I think this is pretty much dry. I don't like that little white spot right there. Can you even see it? A little bit. Ah, I think we're dry, guys, but I need to hit that one little spot because it's bugging me. Oh, that's weird. It won't cover it. It's just going around it. 
guess it's going to stay that way. I guess it's going to stay that way. Um, okay. So here it is. This is a jar from the Dollar General. If you see them, they're awesome. I think they were three bucks. They only had the one. It has this Be Kind sticker on it. I don't know what the other one said, but it comes with this really nice lid. And all we did was... Um, I spray painted it first, it rolled in with dirt, so I didn't feel like sanding it, so I took, thank you Judy, um, you count because you love to count, so we took one single napkin ply and we Mod Podge, I just put a little Mod Podge on the jar, started out my napkin ply and just kept going around and making it lumpy and bumpy, the more lumps, the more bumps, the better, in my opinion, it really wasn't even an entire napkin ply, um, you'd be surprised how far one goes. And then I rolled out some clay and stamped the crockery stamp in there. And then we just did a paint, or I painted it white with white chalk paint. And then we just did a little bit of the watered down DIY paint and that's what you end up with. So pretty neat, pretty neat. So you guys should know, you should know how to do the paint wash technique. You should know how to do use waxes and you should know how to use the antiquing glazes um, from a couple of times that we done these which I'm sure we'll do them more because this is like my favorite look so oh, I missed something about that easy, easy cleanup yeah for me it's a it's a no-brainer like because I don't I, I switch projects and I don't want to keep washing brushes if I got a white paintbrush I'll be keep using it all night long so um, yeah and this is already dry it's pretty awesome if you guys one make sure I feel like that's a little dark right there though if you guys one make sure you um, message me Oh, I want to show you what I got. So I've always been fascinated with, um, oh, that did take it off. I've always been fascinated. DIY is a water-based paint, so it will, it will reactivate with water. Um, I've always been fascinated with the little furniture. Um, uh, I don't know if you've ever saw, uh, you learned so much. Good, good. Hey, Ronnie. Um, the salesman size that they used to bring to just um uh oh there we go look we couldn't go all night without a stink 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 bug right oh boy hold on yeah bye bye Patrick That's what I started to say earlier. That one, two auctions ago, he must have put up like a hundred middle fingers. It was, it was bad. You saw him this time. I don't know if I got him or not. The comments went like weird. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, you have nasty. There it is. Oh, that's Denise. I think I got him because I don't. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Yeah, I got him. My, my comments were just acting weird, and then I clicked on somebody else, and I didn't want to ban them. But hold on. Look how stinking adorable this is when I gotta fix the drawers. So I want to get I want to get a little collection of them. But I'm torn between redoing it or just leaving it as is, because sometimes it's hard to, you know, sometimes things just need to be left alone. Um, look how stinking cute this is. Is he still here? I think I got him. It might just be lag. I don't know. But uh, oh, so many uses for the jar. Yeah, isn't that adorable? I want a lot of them. I want like a, a full display. I don't have anywhere to put it, but I'll find somewhere. It needs to be dusted. I just took it out of the box, but whoever had it before it didn't <laughs> dust it. I know, isn't it so cute? The drawers work and everything. I saw some really, like, they got the ornate little dressers, and, um, oh, look, there's little dinner plates in here. 
Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, only I can ban him from the page. You guys can ban him from yourself, but he'll still be on the page. I think that's what these are. They almost look like a button, but they're, I think they're little dinner plates. That's hilarious. Hilarious. Then my husband just found, so we used to have that really awesome flea market beside us. And um, not beside us, but somewhat near. And they closed up during COVID. The drawers are a little like, you gotta, if you move it, they move. Um, there's some more treasure in here. But anyways, they closed up last year at COVID, which is so sad because it was huge and it was awesome. And um, I guess they're reopening something similar not too far away. So I'm excited about that. He's back. I'm sure it's not just residual. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool the way they did stuff. Can you imagine going to somebody's house? Um, I like the way to see, I know a transfer on it would be nice. A paint job would be on it nice, but then it's like, can I do it? I don't know. I don't know. I, Cause it's kind of cool by itself. And that's, it looks like it had some type of markings on it before, but I don't know. I don't know. It's so cute. It's so cute. But can you imagine like, you wouldn't dare go in somebody's house today and be like, or somebody's business and be like, oh, you want to buy this in real, <laughs> real life size? Bethann, how are you? <laughs> he's good. He's good. He's gone. It's probably just residual comments that you see or delayed. Um, I got it. Um, what the heck is our page name? Um, I should know this. Yeah, I know. I'm torn. I'm torn. I have a lot of old stuff. Some stuff I just can't. I don't have the heart to redo or paint over or whatever. I can't think of the ladies. The ladies. Yeah, it needs a good dust job. But I just think it's stinking adorable. It's different. It's different. Um, thank you, Bethany. I'm fabulous. I got a lot of work to do, so I probably need to get off of here because I gotta go back to work tomorrow and the whole cycle starts over again. <laughs> off we go to work again. Work and full speed ahead. Here we go. But here's our jar for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you. I hope you learned something. Um, do you put anything? Yeah, be cute with some little knickknacks or something in there. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it is a beautiful piece. Um, there's our little piece from this evening. I hope you love it. I hope you had fun. I'll be back on tomorrow at 4.45 p.m. Eastern. That's okay. We're leaving. <laughs> Thank you anyway, Cherokee. Um, I'll be back at 4.45 p.m. Eastern tomorrow for what's up? No, Craft Around the Clock. And your mom had a ton of oh, old things. I see. I see. All right, you guys, thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.